we need to do is you guys look at this and say, all right, well, Mr. Cohen, you always said undo addition and subtraction first, right? When using your reverse order of operations. Well, we're coming to a little problem here. I'm going to do this two different ways. This 4 divides into the C and to the negative 5. So really, this problem looks like this. Okay? That's really what this problem is the same thing as. You're dividing the 4 into both of your terms. So if you want to solve this, yes, you need to undo subtracting 5, but that 5 is being divided by the 4. So if you're actually going to solve this problem, you're going to be dealing with fractions. And there's nothing wrong with solving a problem with fractions. All right? And we can easily do this. Does anybody know what I would do, though, if I want to solve this by fractions, what, what I'd like to do? What would be maybe a way that I could do this? All right. Well, first of all, nobody likes solving with fractions, right? So if I was going to do this with fractions, the first thing I would do is multiply my whole equation by 4. Why would I multiply my whole equation by 4? Because I don't want to have 4 in the denominator. I don't want to have anything in the denominator. So if I multiply by 4, what happens is I'm just left with c minus 5 equals 12. All right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to distribute property or do all that work just to say, I need to get this 4 off the bottom. So if I just multiply by 4, then what happens is I'm just left with c minus 5 equals 12. All right, so either way, you're going to get to c minus 5 equals 12. Now, I have subtracting, so I need to add the 5. It doesn't matter which one you do. C equals 17 is your final answer. All right, so when doing a problem like this, make sure that you guys um, follow that in there. Okay? All right. So.